Awesome. Thanks a lot. I'm Jeremy Watson. I'm a group product manager here at GitLab. And I'm here with Nick Post, and we're about to talk about the DevOps reports category uh, at the analytics group here at GitLab. Nick, take it away. Sure. So I've been doing some um, thinking recently about the key jobs that we want to be focusing on within this particular category and how that job breaks down into the particular areas of focus that we've been looking at recently, such as instance activity, enterprise DevOps reports, or, or, or um, DevOps score, or what's now being called DevOps reports. So as a category, my, my initial thinking here is there's a lot of uh, organizations which are going through a DevOps transformation, and uh, GitLab's quite clearly a, a tool which is useful uh, for that because it, it helps to uh, serve the entire DevOps lifecycle. So the purpose of, of this DevOps reports um, category is around uh, tracking progress, understanding value and maximizing uh, learnings and also reporting to leadership uh, in the context of this, of this transformation and the sort of new workflows, tools and practices that come along with it. Uh, and then uh, the uh, the outcome of this statement isn't quite there yet, but it's basically you know to reduce costs, to uh, make better products, to become more effective in organization in general. So that's quite like a a, ge a general uh, job to be done, and it's quite hard to to like focus on that. So I started to to break that down, um, and uh, started out with with breaking it down into three areas in particular. Uh, the top area, the first area is. Um, around understanding um, how at just an organizational level, um, in, in GitLab we refer to that as an instance, but just an organizational level, how tools are being adopted, at, well, what tools are being adopted specifically and how they are actually being used uh, so that you can sort of understand um, progress and determine uh, return on investment of these particular tools and, and report that to leadership. Um, and when I say tools, this is, this is job to be done statements are generic. So this is thinking about, you could, you could, um, uh, say tools would be basically different parts of the GitLab product, uh, if we were to apply to the, uh, to, um, to what we're doing here. Um, and then benchmarking across teams is understanding since there are multiple teams in an organization who are adopting similar tool or tool chains or whatever it may be, um, understanding how each team is using the tool, whether they're using different parts of, uh, of the tool or of GitLab, whether they are like how they're using the different stuff so they, they can understand progress, share their learnings and continuously improve. And then finally, uh, this is sort of benchmarking within an organization so intra benchmarking this is benchmarking across different organizations so that would be inter um, benchmarking understanding how other organizations are successfully leveraging the tool so they can identify opportunities for improvement um, within your own organization uh, so this is still a little bit incomplete but i'm going to be talking about which are the key personas that typically um, uh, have this job to be done and then from there break it down into a, to the user stories that we want to be um, tackling to start out with. Um, these tend to map to some of the, the, uh, the epics that we have already, uh, but I'll, I'll pause there and, and wait for your feedback, Jeremy. Thanks. I, I'm curious to, I, so I totally agree with, with uh, thanks a lot for breaking it down. I think this is a, we should, we should definitely do this more often. I, I, the way, it's interesting to hear you talk about the difference between enterprise DevOps report and DevOps score um, as benchmarking across teams versus organizations. The way that I think about, have always thought about it is, it's about goals um, and objectives. And the, 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 um, the lens in terms of like the, that we look through is actually kind of similar, um, whether it's the group level or the instance level. It's really, the, for me, the big difference is like enterprise DevOps report is, is measuring progress against a goal that my company has set where we have different organizations that are using GitLab and they have different appetites for different things where some have, uh, some organizations may have like very specific engineering metrics that they want to be able to like uh, move towards. 
and some have like rigorous compliance standards that they need to meet. And they wanna make sure that those goals that they set on a per company basis are being met. That's not something that like we as GitLab can necessarily like tell you. It's something that every organization, depending on the industry or the size is gonna have an appetite for that they need to define. So the enterprise DevOps report is about goals that are set by the organization. DevOps report, DevOps score, is about goals that GitLab thinks are important for our users, right? Where we, in our, in our expertise and our experience and the things that we've seen and our knowledge about DevOps, think that these features and the way that you use GitLab is important for you to get the most out of the product. Um, and that is something that we can be relatively opinionated about and apply to the behavior of different instances, regardless of kind of like who you are or how, or strong you are, or how big you are. There are things like pushing security left. We think we, 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 we promote as basically always a good thing if, you can, if, if the organization can support it. You know, using CICD in GitLab always will result in like faster cycle times if you can push that and make that a, a, a rigorous and regular part of your development life cycle. Those are the types of, of, of practice, be, DevOps best practices that we can put there as opposed to the enterprise and organizational specific things that are in the kind of the middle category. What do you think about that? I think that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a nice way of framing it. Um, and and that's why, like in the in some of the uh, the next iterations of DevOps Score, I've positioned and promoted things like recommendations and like a progress bar, and almost used it as like a, a maturity or onboarding tool for like new groups and projects. Uh, or, you know, new teams that are new to the to um, new wish to the product to say like, hey, you're using SCM. Well, did you know that you know you can move so much faster if you decide to adopt like GitLab CI on a runner? Um, and those are the things that we can be opinionated about. I don't think we can make create that similar experience for company specific goals because it's up to the company to define this is like the specific way that we want to look at, at like segment our, our 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 instance activity, and here are the very specific goals that we're going to be responsible for like checking and driving. And I think that's a really different problem space. Yes, but I, I still see it as, as quite a, um, it's still quite, it, it's still like adjacent to, to, um, to this benchmark in the, the way that I framed it. It's, it's, this is more of like a, um, like, yeah, it, it, this is, this is more of a thing for providing recommendations on how you can improve based on, on GitLab's insights and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I still feel like it can still uh, live in context of, um, of, of some of these workflows here. I don't disagree. Yeah, I'm just, I, I, my, my, the thing that I'm asserting is that for DevOps score slash DevOps, because we're calling DevOps reports now, yeah. is that um, the heart of the value is not in benchmarking necessarily. Mm -hmm. It is sharing, like if, if DevOps score was instead what I, what I just articulated, which was like, you know, a report card or a progress meter in terms of yeah. like how you need to be using GitLab and it didn't have any comparison to other instances, I think that would still be incredible. That, that's the heart of the value, right? It's not that you can like click on DevOps score and you can see like, oh, the, the highest instant, you know, the best usage of this instance is like 4.7, you know, it's like issues created per developer or whatever. Yeah. That's not what's interesting. Like we, we can do way more with benchmarking and make it interesting. But what's, what's cool about that is giving you a sense of like what, you know, uh, of what, behavior you need to drive to get the most out of the product. And I don't think benchmarking is the, the, the key value driver here, right? Yeah. Okay. So identifying, identifying opportunities for growth, uh, your organization's opportunity for growth. And yeah, yeah that's, that's a really nice framing. And I think when, when you consider it that way, uh, you don't typically expect to go to a, you, as a user, you don't typically expect to, to go to a page and say, this is the page where I'm going to 
ident- where, where GitLab recommends me a whole bunch of opportunities for growth. I'd say that this is where we start to take the, the, the capability of what was called DevOps score and think about contextually, where can we pop up some of these insights to, to help uh, users of GitLab get a greater understanding of, of opportunities where they can where they can improve and how they how they adopt the tool and all that sort of stuff. So I think I'll I'll uh, I'll, I'll go off and I'll I'll have a think about how I'd frame that as a job to be done. But that's that's really useful. The the um the question that you um you that shared with me. Oh yeah, that was my <laughs> doorbell. Uh, oh, got it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there'll be uh the 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 guy at the door will be able to answer it, but um. Uh, the question you posed before this is why, why would we, uh, want to consider, um, DevOps score and making that accessible at the group level, um, a priority at the moment. Mm -hmm. And, um, I think the reason that I would consider that a priority at the moment is because the, uh, the interface that we have for, um, for DevOps score can start to be morphed into uh, into a UI that satisfies jobs to be done around here. Uh, but I also think that's all. There's the, the the business outcomes from the GitLab's perspective side of things, where it starts to uh, open up opportunities for adoption and, and new workflows across our product. So there's the the customer value of um, providing new UI and capabilities in these jobs and this job as well. There's um, giving this particular capability that we have already from DevOps score to more people by making it accessible at group level. And then it's good for GitLab because um, we, we, we help customers understand where else they can make use of GitLab. Yeah, that makes a, that makes a lot of sense. Cool. Thanks for uh, talking about that with me. I really appreciate it. I'm excited to see where this uh, where this goes. Um, do you want to go ahead and shut up for free? Sure.